Hey everyone, AJ here. So Optima Batteries asked me to check in on a few friends and see what they've got going on during quarantine. So I am going to FaceTime Darren McKendry, also known as Dr. Detail, and see what he's up to. So let's give him a call. Hey Darren, how's it going? Good, AJ, nice to see you. Good to see you too under these uh, crazy Wonderful. circumstances. How are you guys hanging in there? I think pretty well. It's, uh, it's an unknown. And so we just take it day by day and uh, sometimes hour by hour. Yeah, I mean, you, you kind of hit the nail on the head. I mean, it, this in this kind of situation, the best thing that everybody can do is take it day by day. I mean, this yeah. is unknown territory that we're all dealing with together. So, um, I mean, and like you said, it's raining outside. So this is actually a perfect day to social distance. Isn't and it though? Yeah work on uh, projects that we've either been putting off or, you know, been kind of uh, putting off to the side and actually now is the time to uh, get stuff done. Yeah, and, and for a detail shop, it means we're cleaning. Yes. Because that's what we're good at. Yeah, spring clean during quarantine. I mean, exactly. that's the best way to put it, right? I like that. So the first thing I might just say is that this is an old 1949 building and uh, beautiful old trestles, and uh, that's a false wall, but it goes back 13,000 feet, and um, it's a, just a really beautiful building. And so we've redone it to be our showroom and where you would pick up your car. This happens to be a great old wildcat of a customer that's gonna pick up today, one of the reasons why we're here. We put a clear coat on this car, which is a self-leveling coating that really gives it like a new paint job. And it's a very rare technique, and we're probably the only people that do it in the western part of the United States, maybe even more. And it's a great pot product called Restore FX. So that's that. <clears throat> now, is there anything um, you can tell yeah. me about it? Because I, I have a, I, I've dabbled a little in detailing. I actually hosted a show called Competition Ready, which was a car detailing show for a couple of seasons. Very cool. I have to say, I mean, what you guys do is amazing, but actually getting my hands in it, my appreciation level and respect has gone through the roof because I didn't understand really what went into the detailing world. It's a lot of work. I mean, one thing is building a car, but I, what I've learned is detailers can take the car to that next level to make it show ready. And yes. I've learned all about swirl marks and testing for contaminants, you know, the, the good old fashioned baggy test. Yes. And, um, you know, certain products that work and don't work. And, you know, sometimes even a buffer can, you know, create those swirl marks. So you really, really have to be careful with who you entrust with your car. And I mean, you're, Dr. Detail, so yes, we are. I'm sure people like really entrust you with, you know, their babies on four wheels. Yeah, and to that point, you know, I've been doing this since 1973. Wow. So I don't know where you were then, but I don't even think you were a thought in your parents' eye. Probably not, no. <laughs> yeah, but how did you get started? I mean, okay, so you started in the 1970s. You said, oh, was it 73? Before 73, I think uh, you just find yourself as a young man enjoying cars, enjoying bicycles, enjoying motorcycles, and things like that. And then I myself was always more into the look than the actual motor. I wasn't a motorhead, although I liked things that went fast, but I left that to someone else. But I was always cleaning and polishing and restoring and reconditioning. And that was kind of my passion. Yeah, yeah, and I noticed too, as you were walking around your shop, you have all this beautiful artwork on your walls. Yes, I, I, uh, I love art. I love, uh, that's a lot about the car scene too. I think cars are a work of art. And I love artists. And um, these pieces up on the wall up here are from the Mercedes. Uh, uh, corporate headquarters back in the 70s, and they're actually hand drawings and hand eked of uh, a silver arrow. Can you see those? Yeah, let me, let me take a peek. That is a silver arrow back from the 50s, and these are the prototype of a world-famous car that 
if you had a Silver Arrow today, I don't know, it could be worth 25 million or 50 million or more. But those are original prototypes, so they're really pretty. And, um, you know, there's lots of original artwork around our shop from Paris, France. That's James Dean right there. And that's an original piece. So, Darren, I noticed as you were walking around, um, I saw this really, really cool bike in the background. You actually have several bikes around, but can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, so, uh, funny you should ask, because it's one of my little passions. So this bike right here that we're looking at is really where mountain biking got started back in the 70s. And this was called a clunker. And these guys like Gary Fisher and um, Charlie Kelly and Tom Ritchie and Alan Bonds and other guys would go down a trail in Marin County called Repack. And the reason it was called Repack is because this is a coaster break here. And when they put on the brakes, they would heat it up so bad that it would smoke, so they would have to repack the bearings when they went back up the mountain. And that's kind of where mountain biking got started, right there with that bike. And then as it moved along at Stump Jumper, um, produced this in 1982, and this was really the first production mountain bike. And it's really special, and anybody who rides or has ridden, just look at this bike as something special. And then it goes over to a bike like this, way over here, which is uh, a fat chance, and Chris Chance was the builder of that bike. And that's back on the East Coast. So this is as this, you know, clunker over here got started, it started moving around the country and all over the globe, and then they went into full suspension, which is something over here, and then moved into like a $10,000 machine, which is peeking around this little, this is, this is Yeti. It's a bike that's $10,000. Oh, and they go beyond that. But this is like a 2000, about a 2008 or nine. So this is a 10 year old bike and it's just a, a work of art and something that should be in what we're gonna do as a mountain bike museum here. Your shop is beautiful. I mean, it's a, it's a shop, but it's also like a museum too with all this beautiful art. And that's what we're turning it into is a museum in the next five years. So there's two parts to my shop. This is our showroom and where people pick up their cars. And then over there, yes. so that's our production facility. You have a one-stop shop. This is the back kitchen, you know, of a restaurant. And so this is where we do all our work. And, uh, you know, there's an old 57 Brome there. And some old cars, there's always something different. A um, 61 T-Bird. And this is an old Mercedes 4.5 that we're completely redoing. Um, not something that I like to do, but that's mine. We're doing it. Detailing is where we start. Reconditioning is what we do. And restoration is the end all of what happens. There's car storage as well here. And uh, that's kind of our, our back kitchen. And maybe now, what we could do is, should we get this gentleman out to look at his car? Yeah, well, can you tell me first a little bit of the backstory um, of this car before we reveal it? This way, you know, it could build up the anticipation. Absolutely. So this gentleman came to me, um, the car on a tow truck. I don't know who he was, just another customer that came in. And um, he pulled it off the truck and we're steam cleaning the undercarriage, of course over here, and I just looked at the car and I just told him that I thought that at some point maybe he should think about having us do our restore effects on it. I think it would be a great improvement for the car without restoring the car. I had no idea that this was his brother's car who passed away, nothing like that. I just wanted to let him know what I thought was really cool and he would love it. And he came back to me in about five minutes and said, we want to do it all. 
You know me, I'm all about a good reveal, so. Absolutely, so here it is. You're ready, I'm ready. Yeah, he's really cool. He's a longshoreman, and uh, maybe his brother was too, I don't know. And uh, we'll go in and say hello. Okay. Okay. All right. And. AJ? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna hold, you just talk to AJ. This is Mark, this is AJ. Hello, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? Good, how you doing? And you can just walk out and look at your car and see what you think. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> Wow, wow, that new. is stunning. Oh my God. Wow. I mean, I can see it from the phone. It's amazing. I'm sure in person, it's a thousand times even more beautiful. It is. I can't believe it. Man. Oh, it's like that glass-like finish wow, that, that we love. Wow, that body work. Woo. Man, you guys are incredible. Oh, man, he's smiling in heaven right now. I know that for sure. That yeah, is now, I mean, stunning. It's always been a really nice car, but now, I mean, I got to get this thing on the road ASAP and show everybody well, this thing. Well, wait till it stops raining. Don't take it out right now oh, until no, the no, rain I stops. Know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, this is his 20th year being gone and just uh, doing a little something for him. It makes me feel a little bit better about, you know what I mean, myself and, and a treat for me and him. And, and I, like I said, I know, you know what I mean, he's smiling in heaven. So that's what makes me feel really good. Yeah, and you know, it's like when you are when you drive this car, he'll always be with you. Always. That's the one thing that I kind of, I kind of just, me and him, we just take little rides. And like you said, it's just the one thing that me and him get a little peace of mind together in. Yeah. Yeah, well, congratulations. I'm, I'm sure you're happy Thank to you. have your, your baby back and absolutely stunning. I mean, the paint, the chrome, the wheels. I mean, Darren did not miss an inch of this car. No, awesome he job. Didn't. Man, I, I'm serious. This is, uh, it, it's amazing. Man, I can't believe it. Man, I could just keep walking around. It's almost like if, uh, like, like if I just bought it, it's my new car or something. Yeah, it's, it's also, it's like a rolling piece of art too. I mean, it's stunning. And he did a good job. Yeah. But what can we do to give this thing something special and not go crazy with it and get it done within a day or two? And maybe this will be even better than restoring it because <laughs> it's your brother. And that's what's important to me is making this right for you, affordable, but more permanent so it lasts. And uh, that's what I was hoping to do here, and I think we did it. Yeah, you did. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Nailed that's it. great. Yes, and thank you for sharing with, with the entire world because this was amazing. So, AJ, I want to give Mark an Optima battery so that he never gets stuck out in the uh, uh, street somewhere. And this is uh, one of Optima's superior batteries. And so, feel the weight of that thing. Oh. So that's going to go in that car when you dial in that motor and you're going to have right your, your very you own guys. Optima battery. You're welcome. Mark, I have to say you cannot go wrong with Optima. I have Optima battery in my 68 Firebird and it has never let me down. So you are in good hands. Right on. Thank you. I, I trust everything you guys say. I watch, you know what I mean, seeing you on the show. So I know you guys ain't going to mislead me. Right on, you guys. Thank you. Appreciate Anytime. it. time. I appreciate your time. And um, I hope that others enjoy this little moment of stopping by my shop. Well, thank you for opening up your shop to not just me, but the entire world. And I think what we need right now is, like you said, color and art. And you had me smiling this entire time. And oh, that's great. watching the reveal and seeing this beautiful work of art that you did and you brought it back to life. I mean, that's what we need right now. And I have to thank you again for opening up your doors and sharing this experience with us because um, I think right now what we need is just smiles and laughter and just, you know, keep a good positive energy up. And um, you did thank that, you. so thank you. Well, you know, we've been working so hard. I've been working so hard at trying to make my place in the world. And now it's time to share. And um, so I look forward to my next adventure. Thank you again.
Well, I can't wait to see what you've got next. So. Okay, great. We'll talk <laughs> soon. I'll be waiting. All right. Thank you so okay, much. Take care. Okay. Bye.